people think that we are music nerds, and that is very true. But you don't have to be a music nerd to be a choir. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people assume that it's like boring and like a free block, but it's it's definitely not. <laughs> we talk a lot about music and obviously like rehearse the music, but also um, we talk about a lot like the world and like our places in the world and how to interact with the world around us. Our music expands outside your like ideal choral arrangements. I think you search for things that are more exciting for us to sing and people to listen to. Yeah, through the music we've sang here, um, I've also learned a lot about um, like how to respectfully interact with music from cultures that are not my own and like getting a new insightful view on those cultures that we interact with. We don't just pick a song, learn it, sing it, and be done with it. We learn the culture that comes with it, the language, make sure that we're not doing anything wrong that could harm others, offend others. Like, I think a lot of people assume that the abilities that they're born with, quote unquote, are what they stick with and you can't improve that all. Um, that at all, which is very untrue. There's a lot of techniques and just, I think, general mood associated with your singing that can really improve it. I think people assume that you have to be like good at singing in order to be in car. Definitely don't. I wasn't, I might still not be, but I definitely improved, which is something. This year especially, I think we focused more on the cop in our head that tells us that we're never going to be good enough to succeed and kind of learning that he's wrong and he's just like always going to be up there and that's just kind of like what happens but it's not truly how you're viewed by others and it's not it doesn't represent your self-worth there's not just an educator standing up there like talking at you it's more of an inclusive setting that you have like a say in, whether it's raising your hand or a class vote, like you have a say in this class. There's less conductor-singer relationships, it's more we're creating our own music too. We've learned to use the skills that you've provided us to do it on our own, so we don't rely on a conductor. Writing my own music, or attempting to, um, also helped solidify that because it kind of put it in a context that was personal rather than uh, singing it for an audience or like learning it in order to sing it in class. Like I had to know those skills in order to add my own creativity. What about things that you've learned that you feel like people wouldn't normally associate with choir? Like philosophy. <laughs> like philosophy is on how to make the world a better place. We talk a lot about um, our place in the world and how we can use the music that we make to make a difference. I think that as a, as a world, we underestimate how much we listen to music and how much it influences, influences our lives and emotions. And I think this gives us a space to appreciate it to its full extent that it deserves. Not only has choir made high school more enjoyable and helped me make like friends and establish those relationships since the very first day of freshman year, but it also has sort of set this like ground that I need to move on with music. It was very set in stone here. Um, and like it's not something that you need to come in here knowing the, that knowledge has been taught to us and like established so we can move on and bring it with us.